Yes, I'm live now. Welcome once again to another new video. This is Santu Sahu and you are watching Sahu's tutorial. Good evening everyone. Do join quickly. And in this YouTube video, I'll be covering once again the theory part for the upcoming SSB Odisha lecture series. Do join quickly. Quickly do join. Okay. In this YouTube session, I will be covering more than uh, 40 to 50, uh, more than 40 questions probably for the upcoming SSB English literature, SSB English lectureship exam. Do join quickly. And make sure to subscribe the channel, tap the bell icon to get more notification. Always tap the bell icon bell icon as well so that you can get the notification when i come live i think everything is okay is it i think i am audible also and this ppt also clearly visible so here is the first question on your screen for the upcoming ssb odisha lectureship exam so this is the first question you can answer it here the first question is that semiotics and the philosophy of language is a book by ambato eco Robert Penwar and Rola Barth, AD will write. After this session, I will be also making a video for the upcoming UG Senate exam. So let's complete this. Let's complete this very fast. After this okay, session, I will be also conducting a session for UG Senate English Literature exam. That is JRF Booster Part 4. So here the first question is that semiotics and the philosophy of language. Eco, Robert Penwar and Rolabad AD will write. We have done it earlier as well. Do answer quickly. No, no, no. No, it's not B. It's Ambato Eco. Semiotics and the philosophy of language. It's a work by Ambato Eco. It's not Robert Penn Warren. It's A is the right answer. The semiotician here you see Ambato Eco. Semiotics and the philosophy of language. Here is the cover page of this book. Semiotics and that is the philosophy of language. Ambato Eco is the right answer. It's not B. Cello. Moving on to question number two. Understanding poetry was written by Clean Brooks and in collaboration with whom? Understanding poetry, that is Clean Brooks from your new critic. Those who were talking about the text, that is autotelic. Text is autotelic. They are actually denying the biographical information. It is self content. Here, the critic Clint Brooks, understanding poetry was written by Clint Brooks in collaboration with Alan Tate, R.P. Blackmore, John Croranzum, Robert Penn Warren. One of them was Clint Brooks. And who was the other one? Alan Tate, R.P. Blackmore, John Croranzum, and Robert Penn Warren. So here the right answer is, it's B, it's D, isn't it? It's D, understanding poetry by Robert Penn Warren. So here C, uh, A, B, C, D, exactly. Okay, Robert Penn Warren is the right answer. Hmm. So understanding poetry was an American college textbook and poetry anthology by Clint Brooks and Robert Penn Warren. Brooks and Robert Penn Warren, they have written in collaboration. Chalo. In collaboration, this work first published in the year 1938. The book influenced the new criticism and went through its fourth edition in 1976. And here is the you see the third edition, the page exactly understanding poetry, Clint Brooks and Robert Penn Warren is the writer. In collaboration, this book was written. Next question. The title, these questions are also beneficial even for UGC net exam. Okay. The title, the well wrought urn. Okay. The studies in the structure of poetry. This is the subtitle. Studies in the structure of poetry has been taken from a metaphysical poet's poem. Who is he? Andrew Marble, John Dunn, George Herbert, Abraham Cowley. The Whale Rod Aunt is a work by you all know the Clint Brooks here. And this work was published in 1947. Now tell me, here is question number three. After the completion of this session, I will be conducting another session for UGC net exam that is JRA Booster Part 4.
these are very important questions even for UGC net exam so the well dot on what would be the right answer here do like the session session ko like kar dena share kar dena theek hai chalo it's rashmita okay got it it's john dan exactly it's john dan the well run out exactly rashmita i will be sending you the ppt so are you the same that are you the same rashmita the title contains all allusion contains an allusion to the fourth stanza of john dunn's poem the canonization okay which is the primary subject of the first chapter of this book exactly and what is the famous opening line of this work that is for god's sake hold your tongue and let me laugh for god's sake hold your tongue and let me laugh is the famous opening opening line of canonization in this work we find the phoenix myth also appear the myth of phoenix okay the phoenix myth appears okay so philosophy of rhetoric is a work by philosophy of rhetoric is a work by i richards j spingarn william mimson w e b du bois philosophy of rhetoric these questions are from uh, new criticism structuralism here philosophy of rhetoric is a work by Rashmita, are you the same with whom I had talked a few days ago? So, philosophy of rhetoric is a work by whom? Yeah, we have done that. Go to in the classroom session. We have done that. New critics. It is yeah. It is I. A. Richards. Philosophy of rhetoric. Well done, Rashmita. It's. I. A. Richards is the right answer. The philosophy of rhetoric is a book by I. A. Richards. Chalo. The new critic who developed a formalist approach to Saussure's structuralist theories. He is based on work is prolific manner to a theory of language, which was uh, expanded in regime of the theory of language, a formal development of glossmetics, which is actually his scientific calculus of language. Louis L. Maslow, George Herbert Mead, Carnap, Charles W. Morris. Okay, we have done it earlier as well. This question a few days ago. Prolific manner to a theory of language is based on work. What would be the right answer? Okay, so do like the session as well. So here the right answer is Louis Helmeslop. Okay, so A is the right answer. Here A. is the right answer chalo next question cultural poetics was coined by very important work cultural poetics was coined by whom cultural poetics raymond williams okay then exact uh, no it's louis helmeslop chalo here is question number 6 stephen greenblatt ellen sowalter paul ricker cultural poetics was coined by whom cultural poetics it's the name of the work is chalo that is The name of the work is Renesa Cultural Poetics. Okay, Renesa. Hmm. Okay, got it. Cultural Poetics is the name of the work where he has coined this term. It's Stephen Greenblatt. Exactly, Stephen Greenblatt is the right answer. Renesa Cultural Poetics is the work. Rashmita, it's A. Uh, it's B is the right answer. It's not A. It's B. Okay, cultural poetics. Stephen Greenblatt, who is also associated with new historicism. New historicism. Chalo. Greenblatt is Greenblatt is one of the founders of new historicism, a set of critical practices that he often refers to as a cultural poetics. 
His work have been influential since the early 1980s when he introduced hmm. in order to establish the idea of paradox. Clint Brooks has referred two poems of Wordsworth. One is composed upon Westminster Bridge. Name the other poem. It is a beauty. It is a beauteous evening, calm and free. Immortality ode. Daffodils. Kubla Khan. To establish his idea of paradox, he has given. He has referred two poems of Wordsworth. One is composed upon Westminster Bridge. What is the other poem by Wordsworth? that he has referred when he was trying to establish the idea of paradox. So daffodils Kubla Khan, so daffodils immortality would it is a beautiful evening. So here the right answer is it is a beautiful, it is a no, it is a beauteous evening calm and free is the work where he is also. So it is composed upon Westminster Bridge and it is a beauteous evening calm and free. Here is the explanation you see. Explanation you see. Clint Brooks has employed the three diverse examples from English poetry. He has given example of William Wordsworth's poem. One is it is a beauteous evening calm and free. Another one is the composed upon Westminster Bridge. And the third one is John Dunn's poem The Canonization. Okay. When he was referring, trying to establish the idea of paradox. First poem it is a beauteous evening calm and free. Second one is the composed upon Westminster Bridge. And the third one by John Dunn is also John Dunn's work, Canonization. Third one. Okay. Who wrote the New Criticism? A lecture delivered at Columbia University, March 9, 1910. And in that lecture, for the first time, he has used the term New Criticism. He has used the term New Criticism. Okay. Bahot badia confused hai pe. Okay. This question was asked. Okay. In MP set as well. Not act, not same match, but the question was who used in MPC it came who used the term new criticism for the first time. Who wrote exactly? Exactly. Well done. It's not W. E. Du Bois, I. A. Richards, John Crow Ransom. It's even it is actually J. J. E. Spingard is the writer who for the first time used the term use pehle use kon kiya tha it is j e spingard and in the work in the lecture that is uh, the work called the new criticism a, a lecture delivered at columbia university 1910 it is j e spingard chalo it's a work you see the new criticism a lecture delivered at columbia university march 9 1910 by joel elias spingard who for the first time used the term new criticism it is not John Crowe It was popularized by that work. The movement got its name by the publication of that work. But for the first time, it was used by this writer, Joel Elias Pinger. Okay. A Theory of Semiotics is a book written by E.G. One. Quickly, what was the first question? This is also work by Ambato Eco. Hmm. Exactly. Yeah. It is also a work by Ambato Eco. Theory of Semiotics. Ambato Eco. Chalo. Who pioneered the application of Sasurian semiotics to film theory? Film theory ko kisne pioneered kiya tha? By applying the semiotics of Sasurs. Applying the syntagmatic analysis to scenes of films and grounding film semiotics in greater context. Christian Mage 
Elsio Baron, Amber to Yuko, none of the none of the above. Film theory. Kisne pioneered kiya tha. These are even questions for UGC net. It's Christian Mares is the right answer. Hmm? It's Christian Mares is the right answer. Film theory was pioneered by Christian Mares. Applying Sasoyan semiotics to. So Christian Mares was a French film theorist best known for pioneering the application of Father and the Sasoyan theories of semiology to film. And he has also written the works like called Language and Cinema. Okay, remember that. Christian Mets has written language and cinema and here the imaginary signifier. The imaginary signifier language and cinema are work by Christian Mets. Yeah. Who developed a structural version of semiotics? Exactly. Who developed a structural version of semiotics named generative semiotics? Generative semiotics trying to that is trying to shift the focus of discipline from science to system science to system of signification. Algridas Julian Grimas, Thomas A. Sebok, Charles A. Morrison, Uri Lotman. It's again by Algridas Julian Grimas. Okay, A. G. Grimas. A. J. Grimas. Generative semiotics. Chalo. A. J. Grimas. Algridas. Julian Grimas developed a structural version of semiotics named generative semiotics where he was trying to shift the focus of discipline from science to signification and even his theories also developed the ideas of Sassur, Helmut Schliff, Claudia levi and Maurice Morley Ponty. Morley Ponty, chalo. Who amongst the following does not belong to the great tradition enunciated by F.R. Levis? Okay, so the name of the work is the great tradition. The great tradition is the work and in which work it was published, I think it was published in 1948, 48 or 49, it's like 48, the great tradition. Chalo. So it's by F.R. Levy's work, who among the following does not belong to the great tradition enunciated by F.R. Levy's, Joseph Conrad, James Joyce, Jane Austen, George Eliot. I am also adding adding here Henry James. Now tell me. I am also adding here Henry James. Does not belong to this great tradition. Exactly, it's James Joyce. Well done, Godot. It's James Joyce. We have Joseph Conrad, Jane Austen, George Eliot, Henry James were there. Okay. But James Joyce does not belong to the great tradition. It's by the Great Tradition by F.R. Levis published in, yeah, it is published in 1948. The Great Tradition, F.R. Levis, in this work, he is naming Jane Austen, George Eliot, Henry James, Joseph Conrad as the great English novelist. And in these eight, including, there were also another four. These four and another four were Charles Dickens, Nathaniel Hawthorne, Herman Melville, and Edgar Allan Poe. Whereas he was actually, Dickens, except uh, hard times, he was uh, hating all the works of Dickens except hard times who founded philosophical pragmatism philosophical pragmatism Charles Sanders Pierce, Ferdinand de Sassur, William uh, D. Whitney, Jean Baudelaire Kisne philosophical pragmatism founded kiya tha? we have another session for UGC net exam after this session I'll be making I'll be conducting another session as well session ko like kar dena share bhi kar dena theek hai Chalo, here is question number 13 on your screen. Philosophical pragmatism, Charles Sanders Pierce. Charles Sanders Pierce is the right answer. Chalo. The Prague School or Prague Linguist Circle started in 1924, 25, 1988, 1926. Exactly, you are right, absolutely fantastic. Pragmatic Charles Sanders Pierce. Pragmatic, exactly. Okay.
the prague school of prague linguistic circle started in 19 19 isn't it so the prague linguistic circle was founded in 1926 chalo next question who wrote the new hesperides other poems john crowanson j spinger i richard w e b do boys kisne kiya tha new hesperides and other poems the new hesperides and other poems kisne likha tha i promise you after the after the after after uh, j, that is after w b said and e g c net okay i'll be starting good evening good evening sir make videos on every writer and their important works the summary of those important novels as well one by one it's j is pingan the new hesperides and other poems the work by john crowanson j is pingan new hesperides is a work by i think it's a work by j is pingan okay good evening sir of hmm the new hesperides and other poems i think it is it is uh, j is pingan चलो एक बार देखते हैं इसको विच एप्रोच इज एसोसिएटेड विद द प्राक स्कूल ऑफ लिंग्विस्टिक्स प्रोमिनेंट सिंस 1930s प्रोमिनेंट सिंस 1930s Yeah, चलो 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 इट इज़ इतना याद रखना बहुत होता है इतना कितना याद रखोगे तुम चलो सो so, 1930s इज़ फंक्शनलिज्म Chalo. which approach is associated with the prague school of linguistic prominence since 1930s that is functionalism as well as as well as structuralism uh, so both ho sakta hai theek hai functionalism is the right answer chalo structuralism as well but functionalism if, if, if there is a and b it should be a and b chalo who argued that notion of autonomy emerges from an undeniable fact of all languages the curious lack of accord between form and function functionalism here no one is here sasur to chomsky bhi nahi hoga we have now option sasur bhi nahi hoga chomsky bhi nahi hoga edward laden and william crowd functionalism from 1930s prominent here you have option i have already eliminated b and c now you have william crowd and edward laden it's william cropped exactly exactly sorab it's william cropped a is the right answer a for levis great edition was published in which year 
So he was writing this great tradition published in 1948, 49, 1947, 1953, 1948 exactly, 1948 and who were the writers, Henry James, Joseph Addison, but Joseph Addison, Joseph Conrad. Joseph Conrad, 1948, sort of, it's 1948. Then you have George Eliot, Jane Austen, J. C. Jane Austen, and George Eliot. Conrad James as Austen, George Eliot. Hmm. Hmm. Exactly. Chalo. A functional view of language dickens was one of them but main four okay a functional view of language hmm, hmm, hmm. a functional view of non language 1962 studies in the functional syntax 1975 there are total eight novelists but four of them were prominent the great novelist Praising Dickens hard times. Exactly. A functional view of language. Studies in functional syntax are works by Andrew Martinet, Simon Digg, Michael Halliday, Edward Ladden. These are work by Andrew Martinet. Okay. Here A is the right answer. Chalo. Very tough to answer. That's why I, I have answered here Andrew Martinet. So Andrew Martinet's functional syntax. Uh, with two major books, a functional view of language and studies in the functional syntax. These are works. Who developed, who dedicated his 1940 autobiography, Dusk of Dawn, to Spingarn's memory. Spingarn means Joel J. E. Spingarn. This is for the first time used kya tha kya? Near criticism, calling him scholar and knight. Who had dedicated? I am giving a clue. Black consciousness was coined by him. Black consciousness was coined by a writer. Now, now you tell me. John Crow Anjum, J. Spingarn, I. A. Richards, W. E. B. Du Bois. Who dedicated his 1940 autobiography, Dusk of Dawn. And he had also coined the term black consciousness. Now you will be able to answer it very quickly. Isn't it? Yeah. Exactly. Exactly. It is... Exactly, exactly. Two boys. Exactly, Saurabh. I can I can understand that you also remember that. We have done it earlier, isn't it, Saurabh? And go to it. So here, two boys, black consciousness. Exactly. So it is the autobiography of two boys is Dusk of Dawn and dedicating Joel J. E. Spingard. W. E. B. Du Bois, who had been unsuccessfully recommended by Spingard for the uh, dedicated his 1940 autobiography, Dusk of Dawn. To Spingarn's memory, calling him scholar and knight. Shallow. The William Mimson, Seven Types of Ambiguity, a structurally study of narrative, a piece of psychoanalytic criticism, a study of the media, and analysis of the poetic ambivalence. That is ambiguity. Ambivalence, that is ambiguity. Yeah, it's again, got it, got it. It's again an analysis of the poetic ambivalence. So D is the reference. An analysis of the poetic ambivalence, seven types of ambiguity published 1930. Well done, go out. Which critic has written the well wrought art studies in the structure of poetry? This is the subtitle. Studies in the structure of poetry. William Wimson repeated question, very good, uh, very quickly answer. Poetic ambivalence, ambiguity, ambiguous, not clear. Chalo, Clean Brooks, well done, 1947 published, title canonization. Which English novelist received the Nobel Prize in 1953? He was also a statesman. Graham Greene, 
C.P. Snow, then you have Sir Winston Churchill, Paul Scott. Now tell me Winston Smith is a protagonist of which novel? Do you remember? Winston Smith is a protagonist of which novel? It's Winston's, yeah, it's Churchill, British. So Winston Smith from, so here received 1953, it is Winston Churchill. And Winston Smith is from 1984, exactly by George Orwell, dystopian novel. Oceania is one of the fictional setting of 1984. Some versions of pastoral is a work by some versions of pastoral, exactly 1984. Winston Smith. Some versions of pastoral, exactly sort of. This is a work by which writer? So here the right answer is actually William Imsen. Some version of pastoral is a work by this writer William Imsen. F. R. Levis and Q. D. Levis launched a critical journal devoted to the moral centrality of English studies. Name the journal. P. Y. Q. of net. F. R. Levis and Q. D. Levis launched a critical journal. What was the journal that F. R. and Q. D. Levis were associated? The English Historical Review, the Criterion Scrutiny, the Edinburgh Review. It's scrutiny, sort of it's scrutiny, okay? It's scrutiny. Remember, it's scrutiny is the right answer. Hmm? Scrutiny. Chalo. F. R. Levis is associated with scrutiny. In which year that did the well wrought and studies in the structure of poetry subtitle publish? Repeated question, quickly do answer. After finishing this session, I will be conducting another session as well. Let's finish it first. I have tons of mock test, tons of mock test, yeah, tons of question, tons of mock test, yeah. To be honest, I have tons of mock test series, tons of MCQ along with concept as well. But I don't have enough time to conduct classes, but uh, hoping to conduct more classes in the upcoming page. So it's 1947. Chalo. The well wrought aunt studied in the structure of poetry is 1947 coll 47 collection of essays. It is considered a seminal text in the new critical school of literary criticism. Chalo. In which book did Clint Brooks give the idea of heresy of paraphrase? What is heresy? Heresy means error. So when you are making, when you are paraphrasing, you are making an error. You are destroying the originality. You are destroying the originality of the text. Okay. That is, when you are doing paraphrase, you are making an error and you are destroying the originality of a text. That is heresy of paraphrase. Given by whom? Clint Brooks. It's by the well wrought aunt, exactly, Saurav and Gorod, well done. It's the well wrought aunt, studies in the structure of poetry published in 1940. Seven. This is the work where he has given this concept. I told that that's why I'm telling you these questions are also very very important for UGC and exam. Chalo. The well wrought aunt, the way Hiracia paraphrase is the title of the chapter in the well wrought aunt, a seminal work of the new criticism by Kilin Mush, where he has given this concept the Hiracia paraphrase. Who wrote meaning of meaning? Meaning of meaning. I. A. Richards, J. E. Spingarn, T. S. Lord, W. E. B. Du Bois. I have mainly focused here new criticism. 
I have mainly focused new criticism writers in this PPT, in this YouTube session. Who wrote Meaning of Meaning? I. A. Richards, J. E. Spingar, T. S. Eliot, W. E. B. Du Bois. Meaning of Meaning, it was written in collaboration with C. K. Ogden. It was written in collaboration with C. K. Ogden. So here, I. A. Richards is the right answer. Exactly, got it. The meaning of meaning a study of the influence of language upon the thought of the science of symbolism. It's a book by C.K. Exactly, sort of got it. A. C.K. Ogden and I. A. Richards. C.K. Ogden and I. A. Richards. Chalo. Exactly, from what I. A. Richards as well as C.K. Ogden in collaboration. In collaboration, structure, sign, and play in the discourse of the human sciences by Jacques Derrida was delivered in which year? 66, 56, 76, 64. I have a lot of question here. Do quickly finish this question. Then we will be starting another session for UGC net, JRA booster session. It's 1966 exactly, exactly Saurabh. You do you remember exactly 1966 is the right answer. Well done Saurabh. Here in 1966, hmm. Jack Zerida delivered his celebrated essay that is Paul Demon also attended structure and sign and play in the discourse of the human science. And then uh, Paul Demon, the American, uh, the Paul Demon, the American, uh, that is a disciple of Jacques Derrida, also made there. Hmm. And uh, they became fast friends after that uh, essay when he was delivering that essay. So he wrote. Uh, who wrote Cold Ridge on Imagination? Richards, J. Spingarn, I. Richards, W. Du Bois. Who wrote Cold Ridge on Imagination? Quickly do answer. I have only focused new criticism. In new criticism, there are more than 50 to 60 questions. Okay. कोना कोना से उठा के लेके तुम लोग के लिए ए एमसीक्यू बना के लेके आए हैं चलो इट्स अगेन आई आर रिचर्ड्स कोल्ड रीजन इमेजिनेशन आई आर रिचर्ड्स अगेन आई आर रिचर्ड्स टॉक्ड अबाउट फोर काइंड्स ऑफ मीनिंग नो इट्स आई आर रिचर्ड्स इट्स आई आर रिचर्ड्स आई आर रिचर्ड्स टॉक्ड अबाउट फोर काइंड्स ऑफ मीनिंग इन द वर्क कॉल्ड प्रैक्टिकल क्रिटिसिज्म a study in literary judgment published in 1929. Find the odd one. Sense, feeling, tone, intention, attention. Which one is the odd one? Let's see. Exactly, we have done it now in sense, feeling, tone, intention. These are four kinds of meaning, but he had not added exactly. E is not the right option. Attention, nahi tha, hai? two kinds of meaning and two four kinds of two kinds of meaning, four kinds of meaning. Yeah, elements of semiology, theory of semiotics by Amato Eco, elements of semiology. Rola Bart, Padnandi Sasur, Derrida Johnson.
रोला बर्थ इट्स अ वर्क बाई रोला बर्थ एलिमेंट ऑफ सीमियोलॉजी रोला बर्थ चलो सीमियोटिशन प्राग सर्किल प्राग लिंग्विस्टिक सर्किल डिसबैंडेड इन साइंटिफिक और द रेफरेंशियल एंड सेकेंड वन इज द इमोटिव here practical criticism a study in literary judgment principle of literary criticism what would be the right answer here one is that is a talk scientific and another one is the emotive और रेफरेंशियल दैट इज ये ट्रू हो सकता है फॉल्स हो सकता है दैट इज अबाउट फैक्ट्स ये तो मीनिंग ऑफ मीनिंग तो फिलोसफी ऑफ रेटरिक तो नहीं होगा प्रैक्टिकल क्रिटिसिज्म स्टडी इन लिटरेचर जजमेंट इसमें भी नहीं होगा देन व्हाट इज द आंसर प्रिंसिपल ऑफ लिटरेरी क्रिटिसिज्म नाइनटीन ट्वेंटी फोर ठीक है बी हु सो द पोस्ट स्ट्रक्चरलिज्म एज फ्लॉड ड्यू टू द रिलायंस ऑन सोशल लिंग्विस्टिक मॉडल ड्यू टू रिलायंस ऑन सोशल लिंग्विस्टिक मॉडल हुई वॉज सीरियसली चैलेंज बाई द नाइनटीन फिफ्टीज एंड वॉज सुन एबंड बाई लिंग्विस्टिक्स Norman Holland, post-structuralism as a plot. It's Norman Holland. What is the subtitle of Practical Criticism? When it was published, Practical Criticism was published in nineteen twenty nine. Na, what is the subtitle of this work? Principle of Literary Criticism was published in nineteen twenty four. Practical criticism was published in a study in literary judgment. A study in literary judgment. In study in literary judgment. I told you the story. Okay, I uh, actually I I also make this kind of mistake. Okay, in W B set, I think uh, two or three years back. Okay, so for that reason, okay, I was not able to qualify that time, and 
ओके टेल मी सतीश व्हाट इज युअर क्वेरी विथ हुम आय ए रिचर्ड रोड मिनिंग अ मिनिंग गुड इवनिंग सतीश and if i had answered that correctly okay so i would have been qualified that time double b set i had also made that some kind of mistake of i had done that option of practical criticism uh, study uh, uh, study of literary of literary judgment like that okay so with that one question it's ck ogden hmm. exactly satish it's well done it's ck ogden is the right answer good evening everyone who defines semiotic as the quasi necessary or formal doctrine of science which abstracts what must be the characters of all science used by an intelligence capable of learning by experience semiotic semiotician वेलकम टू साउस ट्यूटोरियल सतीश स्टे ट्यून एंड एंजॉय दिस फ्री वीडियोज एक्जैक्टली semiotics actually charles sanders peers exactly a is the right answer next question the preeminent evolution of criterion of fr levis the great tradition is moral purpose sub sublime subject matter reader response truth to life the preeminent evaluative criterion of fr levis the great tradition published in 1948 thank you after this session i'll be conducting another session for no 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 it is moral purpose moral moral one who first used the word new criticism now answer that was in 1910 please do join the telegram channel that is santu sahu ugc net you will be updated getting there you will be getting join this telegram channel you'll be getting the information in the telegram channel regarding the upcoming classes it is exactly it is spinger hmm. j is spinger for the first time new criticism used kiya tha which of the following critical study is not a critical study is not a critical study by william emson please start ho gaya
is not a critical seven types of ambiguity is a work by the milton's god is a work by some versions of pastoral is also work by so we have oh what is happening chalo Milton's these these are three works by William Hinson, whereas the Dyer's Hand is a work by whom? It's a Auden. It's a work by Auden. The Dyer's Hand and other essays is a collection of essays and lectures. And Kili. Chalo. When was New Criticism by John Claude Angel published and the movement got its name by the publication after the publication of this work? Okay, after finishing this session, I'll be conducting at 8.30. Okay, I'll be conducting another session for JRF, JRF booster session for the upcoming UGC net exam. Do join at 8.30. Okay. published in 1941 why it is happening so today new criticism is a work by john crow angel it was published in the year 1941 43 is the answer 44 in which book i had just talked about four kinds of meaning four kinds of meaning that is stain stone principle of literary criticism meaning of meaning philosophy of rhetoric and four uh, that is practical criticism a study in literary judgment four kinds of meaning were spoken in which book sense feeling tone and intention sense feeling tone and intention in the work published in the year 1929 that is practical criticism a study in literary judgment is the work where he has given this four kind of meaning practical criticism in this book chalo efer levis disparaged dickens as a lacking the mature and st mature standards and interest that can be found in the works of Henry James, but one of one work of Dickens was not deni, was not denigrated. Name the work. He was criticizing all the works of Dickens except Hard Times, God Expectation, David Copperfield, A Tale of Two Cities. In the work that is the the great tradition, the great tradition. Published in 1948. Tale of Two Cities, David Copperfield, Get Expectation. Which one? Which one? Which one? Satish, you are asking the right answer of which question? It's a hard times is the right answer. Was not denigrated, it's hard times. चलो किसने कॉइन किया था तो अभी तक अभी तक किए हैं प्रैक्टिकल क्रिटिसिज्म अभी किया है 
here 48 who first used the term practical criticism last question means here this one that is practical criticism or studying literary judgment is the work where he has given four kinds of meaning practical criticism was used by hmm. question number 48 now keep answering question number 48 We have done that. EG one higher Richards. Practical criticism kis ne used? Higher Richards kiu tha? Used by higher Richards for the first time. The term intentional philosophy used by Wimsett and Munro Beardsley. William Wimsett and Munro. William Wimsett and Munro Beardsley. Isn't it? Intentional flashy, affective fallacy, these are. William Wimsett and Munro Beardsley, they had used the term intentional fallacy as well as affective fallacy. And they are actually new critic. They are new critic. Pratis. No, no, it's William Wimsett and Mundo Beardsley. They have used the term intentional flash and effective fallacy. They are the new critic. The error of interpreting a literary work by referring to evidence outside of itself, such as the design and the purpose of the author, is called affective fallacy, intentional fallacy, synecdochic fallacy, and all of them. Yes, yes, why not? Why not? So, when is your case at exam? I think in the month of January, na? Case at Satish. I'll be covering case at as well, which is in the month of January, na? Satish. Theory question, shop. Go dot. Such as the design and the purpose of the author, purpose that is the intention. Read the question very carefully. You have also earlier made the same thing, same mistake. It is intentional fallacy. No, no, it is intentional fallacy. The error of inter a text ko jab aap interpret karte ho, such as the design and the purpose of the author is called. When is case at exam? Such as the design and purpose of the author is called intentional fallacy. Such as the design and the purpose of the author. That is, we are then we are actually judging a text by the intention of the author. That is intentional fallacy. I do remember you had made a mistake a few months ago. William Mimson Seven Types of Ambiguity was published in December mein kab hai Satish Kaset
फिफ्टी वन हेयर सेवन टाइप्स ऑफ एम्बेगुटी नाइनटीन थर्टी थर्टी वन पे सब भूल जा रहे हो नाइनटीन थर्टी पे थर्टी दिसंबर ओके ओके विल बी कवरिंग डोंट वरी सो नाइनटीन थर्टी सेवन टाइप्स ऑफ एम्बेगुटी थर्टी द ग्रेट इंग्लिश नॉवलिस्ट आर जेन ऑस्टन जॉर्ज इलियड हेनरी जेम्स एंड जोसेफ कनराट Which following critics critical text begin with the above assertion? Walter Allen, the English novel; Terry Gilton, the English novel; F. R. Lewis, the great tradition; Ian Wood, the rise of the novel. This is the last question. I'll be starting another session from eight thirty. Do join. Yeah, Efer Levy is the great tradition. Efer Levy is the great tradition is beginning with this assertion. Okay, I'll be ending the session. Have you liked the session? Please do like the session. Share with your friends and juniors and seniors as well. Do join the Telegram channel that is Santu Sahu UGC Net. And even do join at eight thirty. For JRA booster session, JRA booster session. Chalo, it is Efer Levy's the great addition. See you soon. Chalo.